Hey guys, so it's 916. I'm 23. Yesterday around 451, I started getting um prophecy. And um, so it was 915 when it began, and it was a little over 12 hours. It ended around 5:30 this morning, and I just got different things throughout um the evening. So this is entitled God Cares, and it has 15 um subheaders. So I come directives. Return home, how kings dine, protected, full faith, the Lord God Almighty, my lambs, choose me, soldiers pray, Benjamin's prayer, the song of, of the faithful, God of miracles, and today. So I typically look up, if I know the time that I got a prophecy or something, I look it up and I look it up in Strong's to see what the definition is. I don't always tell you guys that. It's in all the written formats of it. But um, I think today that I am supposed to be telling them to you. So the first one, which is I come, was at 451. And um, the Greek is Anna which is the prophetess who visited Jesus as a baby. And the Hebrew means the fat of the sheep's tail, which is a delicacy. So here we go. Hear the voice of the Lord. I come. I come to see who is faithful. Which anointed and faithful are doing as I ask. I do not tarry. Those in obedience will be taken to train or special angels will be assigned to make impenetrable boundaries around them. The end begins. The days are few before rapture. I see all. I hear all. I know the intents in each heart. Those not in obedience will be in shame. The time of warning has passed. The time of commencement near. Those in faithful prayer, I hear you. Continue on. Those tired, I will restore you. Watch and see. My lovely church, who bring me joy and honor. We are about to change the world. Rejoice. If you are with me, nothing can harm you. Because nothing can triumph over me. And I have made hard and strict rules that my obedient children will be kept from harm. The time of sorrows nears, not for my church. My church will have times of miracles and joy. But those who defame me, who are an embarrassment to my people, those who trust man, those who praise man inside of my house, those who hate me, all of these are to see sorrows. It is their just recompense to have difficulties it may be their last opportunity to cry out to me. This is compassion. To help them get to the end of themselves so they can have a true opportunity to find me. My last few special ones that have been stubborn or misguided, pray for these. Pray evil and darkness are bound from them and that they have ears to hear when I speak to the half-borns, and later, the rebels. A darkness approaches. It intends to do harm. It intends to infuse fear and despair. Church, the hope I shine through you, this will ruin the plans of the darkness. They will have given a good effort at shaping the people to do their will. But I will counter it with love, miracles, and provisions. I will take those they felt were theirs right out from under their hand. They will have to reorganize with a new plan. But I will whisk you all away while they are left puzzled. Trust the plan. I have you in your rightful place. Listen for me. Serve me alone. Help others any way I lead you. There is no failure with me in the lead. Pray for your leader. Pray for Julie. She is about to show the world my wonders. This will be very taxing on her. Pray especially after 
for her. The enemy will be passionately seeking to destroy her. When it is known that mine with faith on the earth can direct my power and do mighty miracles, allow your faith to grow. You can also be used in mighty ways with faith and by offering yourself up as a willing vessel. Rejoice, the time nears. Number two, directives. Men, stand up. Lead your family and friends in the ways my word instructs. Be bold to lead in prayer. Be bold to manage people in a crisis. Be bold to protect those weaker than you. Be bold to stand up for me and my power. Be bold to offer salvation. Be boldly full of faith in me and not yourself or man's tools of war. Keep your eyes on me. Be valiant and pray first. This is your best weapon. Watch how I provide. Women, be of grace and kindness. Be of hospitality and sharing the gospel. Protect children and the elderly. Pray over everyone in your care. Return evil with kindness. Stay properly aligned in me. Church, do not sway. Falsehoods will swirl in every direction. Do not listen to man. Be about my business and in my word. This will keep your ears safe from destructive lies. Many will need you. Be open to whom I direct you to help, speak with, share the gospel, feed, house, advise, and the like. If you are hearing me, there will be no questions as to what comes next. I will advise. There is nothing to fear. Nothing will be too hard for you. I know you each, and I know how to best employ my army on the ground. Some of you, where you live, will not see much distress in your area. I may be more quiet with you. This is fine. If you have initially heard me, and then there is a quiet season, simply stay the course, reading and praying until needed. I will speak as needed. Be of good cheer. Plans move forward. Much is happening that you cannot see. Change is almost here. Gird up in my word. Gird up in prayer. Gird up in worship. Stand your ground. Wherever my people stand, that is holy ground. Pray aggressively and do not give up one inch of your territory. Stand firm in me. As a violent storm that blows in, the dynamics of the world are about to change violently. Be tucked safely in my care. Avoid the difficulties. Be in me. I spare the holy. I protect the righteous. I save the sanctified. Purify yourself with communion in preparation. Stay pure in me. The church will go through a sorting. The separating between the wheat and the tares is to occur. The wheat stays under my wing. The tares are to be trampled for shaming my name and not holding to my words. The wheat will have miracles. The tares shamed. Those tares that are spared, they will have opportunity to repent. I come to see who has been faithful. I do not tarry. All written as faithful in the book will be miraculously provided for. All without miracles need to repent and seek why. The sorting begins shortly. Number three. This was at 516 at night. So the Greek for that is worthily, coming in a manner worthy of, having worth that matches value. And the Hebrew is destroy not. Those must not destroy. This is called return home. Come one, come all. Come hear the voice of the Lord. Many have been lazy. Many have been more concerned with fitting in than pleasing me. Many have been rebellious or disobedient. Some came to me and then the evil one showered them with temptations. 
back to their carnal life. My true church has been praying to break the hold that evil and darkness have on you. You prodigals, you know better. You stopped listening to that prodding to not walk away from me, but see in your soul, you know where you are walking is wrong. You wanted to fit in. You didn't want to be told. You wanted to manage your own life. You wanted to be different. You listened to man's wisdom and believed them over me. It is time to right your ship. Your choices are few. You can turn now and repent and help lead. You can be put into captivity and have everything taken from you. You can stay with the evil one. Understand if you choose the last, it will be an eternal choice. Hell is real and for eternity, eternal suffering. I love you and do not want this for you. Look at what is happening to the world. I assure you it will never return to how it was. The only way out of this march toward being ruled by the Antichrist is repenting and turning your whole heart back to me as it was on the first day when you came to me I will forgive your wrongs I love you and want you with me for eternity we are actually at the end of time a few short years before the mark of the beast is final yes that is also real your Christian friends may have warned you but you tucked it away thinking not in your lifetime no your lifetime will make the choice. Your lifetime is who they have banked on to build their murderous empire upon. They will hate you, use you, and murder you. Come back to me. Run to me. I will forgive you. I love you. I will provide you a blissful eternity. Think seriously about your choices. These are eternal choices. Bring your friends share me with them do not let them run to the grips of the antichrist just to suffer my wrath save all you can recall the gospel hear jesus words understand you are a sinner only he has lived a perfect life on earth stop sinning and be fully convinced that i am god and that Jesus is the Messiah who gave his actual life on the cross for every sinner who will come and in grace offers eternal life to any who will follow him. Confess publicly that you believe in Jesus Christ as the only Messiah for the world. Be baptized and sanctified by the Holy Spirit, sealed in the courts of heaven. Live a life at aiming at righteousness, Turn away from carnal and unclean things. Share my grace with others and allow them the opportunity to be saved and go to heaven for eternity. Come to me, repent, change directions, return to me, take communion and be purified. Ask me for forgiveness for your wasted years. Share Jesus with everyone. Read your Bible. A paper Bible, not digital. Some digital are to be changed. Pray all the time and in sincerity. Worship me from your heart. Be restored. Come home. I have a special job for you. Return home. I love you. I miss you. Number four, how do kings dine? The kings of the earth dine in luxury. They fill themselves with the finest of food. They make people serve them. Sometimes they dine alone and sometimes they dine with others. It is dangerous when they dine together. The kings of the earth come together and dine with foods in public that are of luxury, but they also dine in private of things that are wicked. They serve the evil one. They have a magician that casts spells upon their wicked food. Just as the kings of old, the Chaldeans, the Babylonians, the Assyrians, the Egyptians, this has always been so over time. This is wickedness to commit 
foods to false gods or demons or to the evil one himself. Do not have compassion on the kings who will soon cry out in fear and trembling. They have sold their souls to the evil one. They love him and serve his every command. Do not trust anything. Any of the kings past or present have said they are all wicked. They will attempt to deceive the people to make an entire globe of slaves. They will try to steal each other's territory, money, and people. I am the only safe harbor. Trust me. I have only good plans for you. Things to make you filled with goodness, love, joy, and kindness. Be like Daniel. Stand for me when pressed to partake of what the kings wish. Any who stand for me will be protected. I understand the courage it takes to stand for me when the culture is against you. I will protect any who share the gospel. Share of their provisions, share of their miracles, share their shelter, share their money, or take a public stand for me. So do not be deceived. I warn, none of the kings in this age are without deceit. Do not listen to men. Number five, protected. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were thrown into a fiery furnace, the furnace so hot that the men who delivered them to the fire died. Bombs will drop near some of you, my precious church. You faithful that seek me in the unseen times, will be just like these three. An angel, even if you cannot see him, will arrive before any bombs drop. They will secure your surroundings. You will be kept safe from any harm. Pray for them to have the permission to bind any demons, evil, darkness, or wickedness. And pray that I give them the full filling of my power on your behalf. This is unprecedented. The evil ones have seen me work miracles on the behalf of my people, but the miracles have been pe the people banded together or it is for a single person. But I am God, nothing too hard for me. I am able and will protect all of mine, pure of heart with full faith. And my people will be scattered about. Watch and see the wonders I do. Once you see my wonders, if you lose faith after this, like the Israelites after crossing the river, and then wonder how water or food will manifest, I will allow you to be on your own. Have faith. Pray and ask, and I will provide. I will often provide before you have a need. Take notice. Praise the one who provides. Make me famous to all who see while you rejoice in your provisions. Believe. Rejoice now, knowing the provisions and protections are already done. While you continually pray, rejoice. Number six, 1025 at night. 1025 in the Greek is an unborn, newborn child. And in the Hebrew, it is a house of the valley, a place on the border of Asher be purified what does this mean first you must have accepted my son's offer of grace be committed to love and follow him as the propitiation for your sin then be baptized this allows the holy spirit to seal you then read romans 1 avoid the things called unclean and carnal seek my face seek my words seek my son's words Regularly do communion to focus on my son's sacrifice and evaluate if you are measuring up to your call to be like him. Any things you have not achieved properly, ask for forgiveness and ask for help to do it differently, my ways. Seek to be holy in behaviors. Think on things that are good, lovely, and right. Avoid things words, music, media, books, and the like that focus on evil, bad, wickedness, and sin. Seek the Bible as a manual for righteousness. Read and apply. This is pure. A sanctified person that seeks righteousness. They 
are pure of heart. Number seven, what is full faith? It begins with wanting to know me, reading my words, not out of fear, but out of true curiosity and interest. When you read of me, you learn of my nature, my expectations, and my faithfulness in the past. This builds a true love for me, a respect that blossoms. This also makes you fully convicted on my character. Once fully understanding my nature, full faith is attainable. It is an educated faith that knows I am dependable. I am proved. I am reliable. And I will perform miracles if I wish to provide for mine. There is no doubt. No hoping I will show up. It is resting in the understanding that I am trustworthy. It is a belief that even things difficult to understand are as I say. An understanding that when things appear impossible, that I will make a way. Pure trust. It is praying and knowing I will do it in the best way for the big picture and be okay with that. It is willfully submitting to my will over yours. It is asking me for direction, advice, and wisdom, and then acting upon it. Full faith is understanding that I am God and I have more wisdom and trusting that I will do what is best for you and submitting to my will, my wishes, and my directions about everything. Understanding my ways are higher than your ways. Trusting your life will be the best by following my directives. This is full faith. Moving in action when prompted to do so. Have full faith. I am looking forward to surprising you with unexpected gifts, but I need you to walk in full faith in order to show you. Be of true faith. Number eight, who is the Lord God Almighty? I am, I am. I have existed eternally and will exist eternally. I created the universe. I created your world. I created the very ground you walk upon. I created you and chose your genetic mix. I created all of the natural world you can see. The animals, the plants, the forms of water, the various types of topography, the entire ecosystem. I created the morals. I created the covenants. I created the rules by which humans live. I created the rules by which my holy people are to live. I have created an amazing future for the holy. But I am also just. People who choose to walk in sin, unrighteousness, ungodliness, darkness, wickedness, and evil, they deserve justice for their pride and crimes. All have the opportunity to know of me by just looking at the natural world. Only those in pride create false gods and religions that center man as the story. In these last times, I am giving everyone who has not understood me a chance to come to me through my son, the one and only Messiah, Jesus Christ. He was sent to earth, raised by a humble but loving family. He was launched into ministry as a young man. He offered my Israelite people truth and they rejected him. He offered them eternal salvation and they rejected it. He offered them their long awaited Messiah and they rejected him. How? Why? They followed man, not me. Their leaders told them he was a fraud. Even most knew all of the old prophecies that had been fulfilled. They did not like my choice. They did not like my way. They did not imagine this is how the story would go. They did not want to lose power and control. They wanted their own way and not mine. This will repeat. I offer my son and his completed sacrifices for sin. He died on the cross and was raised on the third day. He conquered sin and death for you, for your sins. So all who would come could have eternal life. I have had my people telling this truth for centuries. I have had this message very clear and available 
for the past 100 years for this last generation. But still, people reject this. The free gift of grace rejected. Why? Pride. Soon the false Messiah will arise. People will love him. All people but those who love me and know my son's words. My people will not feel his deceptions are truth as the others. They will know the truth of my son and his words and only cling to Jesus. Yet still people will choose the false Messiah, rejecting Jesus, the true Messiah, just as those in the past. Choosing the false Messiah is a difficult path. It assures all who follow him will stay for the great tribulation. The false Messiah will lead many people to the Antichrist, who will rule during the Great Tribulation. Many will choose the false Messiah. Many people who call themselves Christians, be warned. I, the Lord God Almighty, know all of this. How? I am all-knowing. I know everything about every person from the past, present, and future. I am graciously offering you, my son, to deliver you from the great tribulation. It will be a terrible time. Only those who are in pride will find themselves there. I am compassion and love. I wish no one to suffer. But I am just and cannot tolerate the sins that continue. I am holy. I cannot tolerate the stench evil, wickedness, darkness, and uncleanness that this generation has brought up to my nose. The sins of the earth are immense in this century. The hope is that all come to me and repent. I will forgive all who leave their old self and self-directed life and allow me to lead. I will pour blessings upon each who turns to me with true love and obedience. Anyone who comes must come through my one and only son. There is no other. Man will soon claim that the false Messiah is my son. This is a falsehood. Accept my true son, Jesus Christ, as your personal Lord and Savior. Accept my grace through his gift. Gain an eternal life of bliss. Seek after holiness. Become righteous and sanctified. I am the God of love and grace. I want no one to suffer. I care for my own. Come to me, your creator. Humbly come and learn of me. Learn of my son. Come, see how I work. Time is short. Come. Number nine, my lambs. Some of you learned a simple psalm as a child. David wrote, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. What does this mean? This means I, the I am, the author of the creation, leads him like a shepherd leads his sheep. This means I talk with my sheep. This means I feed my sheep good nutrition. This means I am sure my sheep have water. If a lamb strays off the path, I go looking for him and rescue him. If I have to carry him back to the flock because he is injured, I do so. I care for the well-being of my sheep. I also know each and every sheep, their traits, their habits, their preferences. I know which sheep are good at leading and which are more likely to stray. But like a shepherd, my sheep have no cares. Not one sheep goes without food, water, or protections. Everything is provided and more. David was a wonderful shepherd. He cared deeply about every sheep in his flock. He named them, he protected them, he camped under the stars with them. He would risk his very life for them. I care even more for my flock than David did for his flock. Each little lamb is my cherished child, an heir to a royal priesthood, a part of my family. Be my sheep, follow me. Let me provide and see how you have no wants at all. I will bless my flock. Number 10, 1120 p.m. Greek is to fall on the knees and Hebrew is a high place in Moab, which was used for wickedness and the worshiping of Baal, false God, entitled, Choose Me. Who was on the Lord's side? 
A choice in everyone's life comes to choose me or to choose something else. Choose me. But now many choices are to arise that will feel like they are hard decisions unless you have full faith in me. Then they will be easy. The kings have plans to pressure the masses. They will threaten ruin and use guilt and peer pressure to manipulate the people. They will use any lure they can to get the masses to follow. Do not be part of the masses. Be part of my flock. Follow me. You will have no lack with me. The king's lure will be fear-based deceptions. All who follow the kings will be in miserable conditions in the great tribulation. Stay on the narrow path. I will provide. Do not take the bait. Do not be deceived. Stay firmly planted in the faith you have in me. Recall how I provided for the Israelites. Recall how I provided for David. Recall how I provided for Elijah. Recall how I provided for Elisha. Recall how I provided for Ruth. Recall how I provided for Esther. Recall how I provided for Paul. I am faithful. Come take part in the fruit of my provisions. Come take part of the church's next chapter. Filled with excitement. Come to me with full faith. The riches and bounty beyond this life is worth any sacrifice here. Keep to your holiness. Keep your eyes fixed on me. Say Jesus' name. Celebrate him and use the power in his name over the enemy. Seek me first and I will lead you in the way of righteousness. I will lead you out of harm. Bring me your worries. Bring me your concerns. Bring me your life. Let me carry it all. I am able. Now, the next couple um, sound like they're in my voice, but they're not. I did not write any of these, not from number one down. These are all given to me by the Lord. So this is called number 11, Soldiers Pray. Night and day, day and night, let your prayers arise. This is the season of prayer. My prayer choir Raise the tempo, raise the volume, raise the lyrics, bring forth your prayers. These days need much prayer around the clock. Pray, pray, pray. We defeat the enemy with more prayer. We defeat the enemy with prayers full of faith. Pray night and day, day and night. Let your prayers arise. I never tire of hearing my own pray. Pray. You are like a soldier. Before a soldier goes to war, they prepare with their weapons. Then in war, they use their weapons. Prayer is your weapon. Now you are preparing for the big war by praying for the people's souls, praying for the half-borns and the rebels. You praying now is preparing for the battle. When the sorrows begin, you will need to pray day and night this is identical to a soldier using their weapon in battle. Pray with conviction. Believe what you pray. Pray with emotions. If you are sad, that is okay. Let it out. Ask me to replace it with my joy. If you are scared, let me know and ask me to take fear away and replace it with my boldness. If you are hurting, tell me and ask me to fix it. If you are battling evil, recall you are on holy ground. Be bold and stand firm when you pray. In Jesus' mighty name, you pray the full power of my mighty angels that it is released on your behalf. Do not walk in fear. You are human. You will feel fear. But give it immediately to me and walk on my bold authority. You are a child of the king. There is no reason for a Christian to cower at a demon. With Jesus' powerful name and my holy angels, the battle is already won. Pray often and strong. Keep your focus on me. Pray, 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 church. 
This is our secret weapon. Number 12 came in at 1143. The Hebrew is a son of the right hand, Benjamin. And Greek is a teardrop. Benjamin's prayer. You're worthy of it all. God, your provisions for us are beyond what we can ask or imagine. We raise our praise for you are worthy of it. We are grateful for your love, provisions, and promises. We stand in awe, even thinking about how gracious you are, to share with us warnings and instructions of what is to come. We know we don't know the entire plan, but we are grateful for what you have shared. So we have hope and know where we are on the roadmap. God, you are awesome. You are lovely. You are holy. We stand in a stupor to think about your grace. It never ends. Your mighty plan for the end has so much hope and grace built in. We are grateful for this. May you please shatter evil, darkness, and loose our family and friends from the chains of an unclean life. Allow them to have eyes to see and ears to hear of your great works and of Jesus, the true Messiah. Lord, may they come wholeheartedly to you, leaving a rare person who is steeped in wicked behavior in the tribulation. Allow our prayers to be effective and our protections. Allow our prayers to be effective for our protections and for loosing the chains of the lost. May this be the biggest harvest ever. More than we could ask or imagine. Fill heaven with people. Let us see our friends and family that are lost or that are in a state of straying in their best way in heaven, sin free and filled with Christ likeness. Thank you for coaching us through to prepare us how to pray, how to fight in the spiritual and what your holy standards are. Help us all to hear your holy voice. Help us to have full faith and be fully convinced that what you say is true. Help us not to fear or doubt, but to be filled with your confidence. God Almighty, thank you. Please protect us and pour out your holy powers and miracles upon us. Let us be holy, willing vessels, selflessly ready for use in any way you see fit. Help us to recall our confidence in you and to always allow you to carry us. We love you, Lord. We ask all of this in Jesus' holy and powerful name. Amen. Number 13, Song of the Faithful. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Your brightness is radiant. Your rainbow is magnificent. Your power is unmatchable. Your authority cannot be topped. Your righteousness is our model. Your plans are perfect. Your provisions, gracious. Holy, holy, holy. Soon in the clouds, your son, Jesus, will appear. He will be bright like the sun. He will cause our hearts to melt with joy. Our rescue. We will rejoice. We ache for this day. But we will love you and your plan. And we will stay the course till the end. We will trust as we keep our mind fixed on Jesus' soon return for us. Night and day, day and night, we raise our praises and prayers. You are worthy. You are holy, 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 the Lord God Almighty. Number 14 came in at 1206, which is technically the 16th. But I was told to keep it together in this same um, delivery. Greek means on the second day or on the next day. And the Hebrew is white clay. And it's from the word to bleach. So God of miracles. I am the God of miracles, small and large. The Bible records my miracles. I can turn poison food into being healthy. I can part the water. I can feed people where no food is around. I can command water to come forth from a rock. I can use animals to come, go, help, and attack. I can cause rain to stop or make rain for days. I can cause two people to meet in one spot. I can raise the dead. I can heal the blind, deaf, lame, sick, and diseased. I can cast out demons. I can spare a single home, a person, or a family. 
I am the God of miracles. This is me. My faithful children will not be left alone. I will provide and carry you. Believe. Number 15. I got this around 540 in the morning. In Hebrew, it means to trust. And in Greek, it means whose father is not recorded in the genealogies. So in other words, a Gentile that is not related to an original 12 tribes. Okay. So number 15 today, go outside, enjoy my creation. Look at what I have made. Think of me. Enjoy these gifts for you. I bring beautiful things to your eyes. A few minutes to focus on my creativity. This will bring you my peace. I made my creations for you. Soak it in. That's it. I hope you find it um, encouraging. I know we're getting closer. And um, see you next time.